And what the freaking hell is Rian? Well, Rian is this guy. And could be a girl later. Which is created through something I call an atomical mesh. Basically, a mesh, a topology that follows the muscles. The shape of the muscles, like here, the deltoid, you have one, two, three parts, according to the muscle, and it doesn't have perfect loops as you would see in a, in a normal model. However, that's exactly why on subdivision one, it looks like this, without any extra shape keys or Materials modifiers or anything on sculpting, and on so no subdivisions, it looks like this. At the base level, it's 5000 polygons, and on subdivision 1, it's 20,000. And this is how it looks like. And in fact, I made a vertex group. which is right here that pins, like that focuses the areas where the uh, bones are there which is kind of really hard to do in a normal mesh where the over here it would be just standard loops perfectly aligned together and you won't really find this shape of the Shoulder, shoulder blade, for example, and that actually allows me to add a displacement modifier just like here and increase the intensity and get muscles. Of course, it's still not perfect, but it's under development. But this shape you see right now uh, has absolutely no textures. You see here it says new, there is no texture, it's purely that vertex group here. Another reason for doing an anatomical mesh instead of a standard one, let's turn this down a little bit, this is a little bit more realistic, is deformation, muscle deformation when you're animating. One of the most things I hate about characters usually is dislocated shoulders, where the arm just like moves all the way up and your shoulder blade is not even considered there. You feel like you're moving a plastic toy, not an actual human, and that's lacking like realism. Meanwhile, in Rium, You have your shoulder blade going all the way and the other parts smoothed out according to the muscle deformation. Yeah, I know it's a little bit jaggier and here it's still... The weight painting is still under development too, but... You can see, no matter how the muscle deformation uh, muscle mass is, it's still, for example, here the nipples are actually moving with the arm. Let me decrease this a little bit. And I'll go to pose mode. Well, let me show you. You can see how the nipple kind of, not just the nipple, but the entirety of the pectoral muscle is moving with the arm. Um, show it without the wireframe. It's a slight deformation, but when doing an actual motion capture data or an actual animation, you would notice the difference. Here's one while moving the arm, rotating it, not that much, 
but the uh, deltoid actually moves with it. This movement is a little bit unrealistic, but you can see. But there is a stretch and squash in that the muscles, and that's possible right out of the box because it's following the actual anatomy. And that's I'm moving only the arm, which uh, logically does not move more than this in a normal human if you try to raise it. So what you do usually is moving it with the shoulder. And you can see here that the actual shoulder blade is moving. Let's try moving it at another angle. And uh, if you see here, this part here, when I move it up, it actually changes. It doesn't. It goes back further, and the uh, muscles in the front show more, which is a little bit more realistic. Again, the weight painting is not perfect. It's still at development stage, but you can see that muscles deform according to how they would in real life more than if it was a perfectly moved mesh. That is the point of uh, the alternate topology, the anatomical topology I'm working on, and it will be available as a part of MB Lab hopefully soon enough, or when it's ready. Again, also you can go crazy with the uh, displacement. We can find that again. That's not here. It's here. You can go crazy with the displacement. I don't know. I never tried to do it in the reverse, but <laughs> here is a little bit of a two skeleton -y skeleton, and. Uh, you can go even uh, up, say, 0.60 or something much crazier if you're going for stylized. Let me see if I can show you. Matcap flat. Nope, matcap and. Uh, what is that? Here, moon shader. It does work with two shading as well. But it does work for stylized, even if you're not going for realistic. So, going back to the uh, normal situation. This deformation here happens only due to the topology here we have. And Only a shoulder, an arm twist, a top arm twist, and a bottom arm twist. Uh, actually, not this one, this one. So basically, it's a really standard skeleton here. Whenever you export it, however you export it to any software, to any game engine, you're gonna get the very same results you have. No matter what subdivision it is at, and no matter the displacement, no matter what you do, it's gonna work out of the box. And I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'll try to show the. Uh, let me find the layer. I'm using Autoric Pro here, but you can use any rig you want, even. Mixamo, but you better transfer the weights and rename the groups if you do so, because the uh, weight painting is based on the muscles and the automatic weights still have that dislocated shoulders problem, does not account for shoulder braids and, you know, the uh, bone here, clavicle and such.